Welcome to BCH Technologies. This is Kevin. Uh, today, just a short video uh, about uh, the Epson Zero X Six Nine Air, and uh, I got two of them this month. It kind of weird air, and I did lots of research. And uh, uh, okay, one thing is on uh, uh, on the YouTube, there's a fake videos asking asking you to download the software. Or there's a fake website ask asking you to download something or install something, and uh, don't go for it. And uh, Apple couple hours on the phone with Epson, okay. And uh, Epson asked me to send the printer back, and uh, they said they could gonna give me a new printer. And uh, just as soon as I hang up the phone with Epson, and I get my unit solved. So. I cannot repeat the error, so I just show you how, how I solve it. It might not work for you, but it worked for me today. Okay. So basically, Zero X69 is something with a, with a cartridge movement. So when it comes in, it has a block here uh, to prevent the, uh, prevent the, uh, the cartridge from move, movement. So you're supposed to remove this block. and. Uh, so what you have, you have air here in red, say something wrong, and it's at 0669. And uh, one way to either out troubleshoot it is uh, to power the printer off. And uh, so here's the, the door trigger or the lid trigger. So if, if you stuck a piece of uh, paper towel in it, and you turn the power back on. The printer will think that this this uh, this door is closed, so it won't bother you with uh, please close the door. So uh, you can easily see the movement here. Uh, first thing, absent ask me specifically if I see anything blue here, uh, blue packing tape. Uh, so there's none, and they ask me if anything wrong here. And I don't see anything that's blocking the movement. And um, so next thing I ask is, hey, do you want a new printer? I say, yeah, of course, I want a new printer. So they're going to send me a new printer. <clears throat> okay, so now when you turn it back on, the first error you're going to see is a yellow error said this door is not latched. This is really weird. So I can still cannot figure out where's the sensor for it to tell if this door is not latched because I already, I already resolved this air so it doesn't have that so I turn it back on so if I still get air you're going to see a yellow window right right now say this door is not latched and uh, it asks you to click OK and uh, after you click on the OK it's going to start uh, moving a, lot, a little bit so if you see here, what you want is you want the thing to move to the middle and then you cut the power off. Okay, you unplug it. So what you can do is uh, you just uh, you say okay with that yellow uh, on that yellow warning and this thing start moving it just like this. Okay, so when you move to, move to the middle, you, you cut the power off. Okay, I, I let them move too far, so now it's a lock on this side. Okay, it's okay. Uh, as, as long as this whole unit move out of here, and uh, you can work on here. So here's a, here's a little sucker. And uh, it's, uh, when you do the cleaning, it suck, suck the ink out of it. And here's the bladder. So you just use your hand, make sure everything is, make, make everything just, just move a little bit. And uh, what I found, uh, what happened to mine was on this assembly, right here. Okay. So this piece is protecting, protecting it from movement during the shipment. Something, some, something in the shipment that knock this off. Uh, the thing, uh, knock this off the track or something I, I don't know it's just a you know probably it's in a weird position and you can see so you can have two different positions so just change it a little bit 
Okay, I'll change it here. And uh, so this thing, this thing is uh, is uh, the printer lock. It's supposed to pop up and lock the printer. So basically, use your hand to move, play with this a little bit, change it a little bit, and uh, then that's it. So now I power it down now. Okay, I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole picture. So now the printer is trying to figure out what's going on. And now you can see the printer is adjusting all the internal components and make sure they're in the correct position. Okay, we're going to do lots of printers. So as soon as I find next one have this deal at 69 Air, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to troubleshoot it on the on the fly, so you can see actually how it works. But basically, this is what I did. I just uh, I just change the change the things on this side a little bit, and the air is the air should be fixed. That's it. Thank you. Technology